The term culling literally means the selective removal or segregating of animals for specific reasons. In this context, culling refers to the practice of slaughtering sharks mainly with the intention to reduce the population in a particular vicinity. Usually the fish are shot at close range and the targeted species are the great white, tiger sharks, and bull sharks. Shark culling is used in several locations globally and there are many arguments for and against it. Now, you may wonder why all the fuss about shark culling in the first place. Well, consider these statistics. Between 1959 and 1976, Hawaii culled 4,668 sharks. This number includes 554 tiger sharks, New South Wales have used shark nets in a shark meshing program along their beaches for over 60 years. Latest reports for the 2015 to 2016 season show that 133 targeted sharks have been caught and killed including 90 protected species. But, in the same time frame, at least 600 other marine animals were caught in the nets. About 50% of them had died before they could be released, Queensland. Australia. Between 2013 and 2014, almost 700 sharks were killed including the endangered great whites and grey nurses. Additionally, about 100 dolphins, turtles and other sea animals died from being entangled in the nets, Western Australia culled 68 sharks within a 13-week period in 2014, mostly tiger sharks though great whites were the main target, Indonesia has exported 3,800 tons of shark meat, 1,350 tons of shark fin, and 375 tons of shark bones to several countries, according to Directorate General of Sea Spatial Management of the Ministry of Maritime Affairs and Fisheries. In January 2019 we traveled with friend and fellow shark supporter Atoyal Smolders, founder of Found at Sea Collective and actively working to promote shark conservation in Indonesia, to the Tanjung Lur shark market of East Lombok, Indonesia. Please be warned that the following images are disturbing, but they are reality. When we arrived there were 30 sharks brought in. The species list, thresher, tiger, silky, and bull. There were also small bamboo sharks as well and multiple ray species present. This was the first time I had ever seen a thresher shark. But before you start laying the blame, it is important to understand that these men are not the monsters, they are just victims of third world struggles taken advantage of by first world greed, they are husbands, fathers, brothers, and sons providing for their family in one of the most respected, well-paid jobs that this area of the world can offer. They were kind. They shared stories and smiles with us for hours. They proudly showed us photographs of their wives and children. They offered their version of a gift, a portion of the tiger shark's gums and teeth that they had cut out for us to remember them by along with a prized mako shark tooth that one of them carried with him in his pocket. The aim of shark culling? You guessed it, to protect humans who are actually entering into the territory of the sharks, the ocean. Granted, a shark-related fatality is devastating to the family and community of the deceased. But, there must be better non-lethal measures authorities can take to reduce shark-human conflicts. Fishermen frequently catch sharks unintentionally while fishing for tuna, marlin and other types of open water fish, longline fishing for example is targeted at tuna but the lines extend for miles at a time and will attract other sea animals to eat the bait bottom trawlers and gillnets also add to this problem. Fisheries are advised to return sharks back to the water quickly when they are caught in this manner, however, some fishermen are tempted and will use that chance to cut off the fins for some quick money. Authentic shark products, many of us wrongly assume that just because we don't eat shark fin soup we aren't contributing to the perilous situation of sharks today, we think it's a particular culture that is causing the problem. But that's not the complete picture. Do you know that sharks are killed and used for the following products, certain energy drinks, 
pet vitamins and supplements, shark liver oil, shark cartilage powder, real shark teeth, jaws, skin, shark leather, shagreen, for wallets, purses, furniture, etc., cosmetics, lipstick, face cream. Many manufacturers will not include shark in the list of materials used to make these products and may use other names to deceive buyers, so clarify if you have any doubts, in an effort to reverse or at least stall the steady disappearance of shark species from the seas and oceans. Most countries now regulate shark killing around their coastal waters. But there will be better results if these restrictions can extend to international waters and trade of the most threatened species, if we continue killing sharks at the rate we are going, it's just a matter of time before more shark species join the dinosaurs and become history. Sharks will become just another creature we will describe to our children's children with the aid of pictures only, what do you think about the practice of killing sharks? And what will happen to the oceans if sharks? The usurped apex predators of the sea become extinct,